Brian McChrystal, fresh from his uh, fastest age group performance at Ironman Bolton yesterday. Fifth overall finisher. His bike split a 444 on the uh, 180 kilometer bike ride. Brian, you're going to Kona. What a phenomenal race you had yesterday. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough day, well all Ironmans are, but you know, the first, the, the job in hand was to qualify for Kona, so I'm delighted I've, I've achieved that. Did you think coming into the race uh, yesterday morning that you would have such a superb uh, performance on the bike? Oh, well, I've been doing a lot of biking lately, so, and that type of course would suit, suit my ability, so, you know, I was, I was confident I could kind of ride strong, but you know, time is irrelevant really. Uh, you can only do what you can on the day. All things things might come, come in your way and hinder you. But I never had a time in mind, but I was just happy that uh, I was able to kind of get a, get a fast kind of finish. And did you have any idea um, that you were doing so well on the bike um, with the rolling start? Because you would have sta started well behind the pro athletes, yet you were featuring on the leaderboard for most of the day. Yeah, well, I had a very good swim for me. Um, it's the first time I've gone under an hour in a swim, Ironman swim, and I, I, I knew I was there thereabouts um, from the from getting getting on the bike and catching it. There wasn't wasn't too many athletes on the road, and I knew one or two of the lads, Irish guys, at fast swimmers, and they told me that there was only a few up the road. So, but I made my way through all the pros and um, kind of biked through them uh, and. Yeah, I knew I was in the round and I knew I had the five minutes, but I didn't get carried away. You can only look at the times and that after races. I just wanted to finish strong and, and, and get the race done. And coming into T2, you were the first uh, age grouper into Transition 2. Out on the run, you started a blistering pace, a sub a three hour marathon pace. Uh, coming into the finish line, did you feel the marathon had gone the way you planned or had you uh, run out too hard? No, I had a lot of difficulties on the run. Um, I had, had a problem on the bike where I lost a nutritional bottle and uh, I definitely suffered from uh, lack of calories and I was, I was struggling from, from definitely kilometre 10 onwards and, and it was a matter of I, was, I needed too much, too many calories at the aid stations on the run but you know that happens in Ironman, the, these things challenge us. So it wasn't the it wasn't the worst run in, in the world, but you know I'll I'll take that after after yesterday. So uh, coming into the race, uh, the plan was to qualify for Kona, and I know you've just accepted your slot. So uh, race preparation will start uh, later this week, I imagine. Well, a few days off, uh, definitely nothing done uh, for the rest of the week. I'll be happy to uh, put the feet up for a while, but yeah, I'll have to get back in the groove fairly soon because Kona won't be long coming around. That's it and you might need to do some uh, warm weather training before you head to Kona to acclimatise to the big island. Well you'll have to talk to my wife about that one. <laughs> Brian congratulations, pleasure to call you down the finish line yesterday yeah. and uh, wish you the best of luck in Kona 2016. Thank you very much.